Hey everyone, Jeremy Knopf here, and I'm out here today with Lori Graymont. We're actually just getting stormed out of an event that we uh, traveled all over the place to come attend, a uh, real estate event here. But I want to talk about, as, as we're on the subject of real estate, something interesting that you're working on. So Lori's working on a TV show called Funding Face Off. Lori, tell them a little bit about that. So Funding Face Off is an opportunity where deal presenters can bring the deals they're working on to deal makers, and we will provide them the capital they need to basically put the deal together. In addition to the capital, we're also providing some mentorship and guidance in the deals. It's absolutely amazing. And for those of you who haven't heard about this yet and haven't really seen the news that's been coming out about this, it's a lot like Shark Tank, but instead of pitching businesses, they're pitching real estate deals. And the interesting thing to me is the, the knowledge, the depth of expertise that the panel has. So let's talk a little bit about that. We've got a bunch of people on the panel. Let's talk a little bit about what those people's background is, who they are. Sure. So probably the most well-known is Kevin Harrington, and he comes with a breadth of, of business knowledge that he applies to real estate. And a lot of people don't realize that real estate is business. So that first of all, just blows it out of the water. Then we have real estate developer, Cowboy Joe, who's been doing land development and other things for many years, like 30 plus years. We've got um, Roddy Garcilaso, and he comes with construction experience over 30 years. He can look at a deal and say, you know what, numbers don't add up. Um, my experience having done over 2,000 flips and 800 rehabs remotely. And we have other deal makers with as much experience coming to the table too. That's awesome. And I mean, just listening to some of these folks, I don't have the real estate background that you guys have, but yeah. listening to these people as they're analyzing these deals on the set for the first six episodes that you guys just recorded was, in my opinion, mind blowing because that demonstrates the, the depth of expertise that they have because there's so many factors in evaluating a real estate deal to be able to do that on the spot. Like that's a totally different category of person right there. So what was really interesting to me is that it was really organic. And, you know, we had somebody like Mike Hambright who took, took a deal. He looked at it five seconds. He already knew what the, the pitfalls was going to be, what to call out. And then Travis, you know, he's another one of our deal makers, you know, going in and saying, look, that's not exciting enough for us. What can we do to make this a better profit? And then we have John who's been doing this for himself and has over a hundred doors. He's like, you know, those numbers aren't adding up. Mm -hmm. And it was all organic and we were able to kind of see what each other was seeing in it and be able to put it together where it did make sense. Be able to offer advice to the deal makers where, or I'm sorry, the deal presenters where maybe they didn't see that there was a flaw there. So it was just amazing. Absolutely. Now let's talk about what happens with the deal presenters, the people who are bringing the deals to yeah. the table for your panel to evaluate. Let's talk about A, what that experience looks like for them, because I think it's exciting and it's a great opportunity. But then let's talk about what they get out of that as well. Sure. So first of all, they get real concise on what their deal is. Like they need to believe in <laughs> yeah. their deal. And a lot of times, you know, as a deal presenter, you're out, you know, putting all these deals together, but you don't necessarily know what you have. So first of mm -hmm. all, they, they take the time to go through and categorize their deal to understand what it is that they have and what they're asking for. When they present it to us as the deal makers, they're hearing advice that we've been through. If we've been through all these transactions, we may know something because we've experienced it. And so they're getting that guidance right on the show. They're getting credibility by being able to present their deal to us, which is huge, the huge yeah. credibility. And if they're chosen as a winter, winner, if they're chosen as a winner, they also get us to come along and help the deal be successful because we aren't going to want to put our money into a deal that isn't successful. So they get that level of mentorship. Right. And I think that's really the most important thing, right? Because yeah. there's a lot of places to find the money. Right. But the knowledge that they're bringing to the table, the panel, they're going to make sure that that deal is successful. And I think really for the, for the deal presenters, this becomes an absolute master class in real estate and investing because they've got somebody who has a vested interest in their right. success. And it isn't even so much for the short play of getting the money for this one deal. It's about building a relationship with deal makers who've been in this business for 30 plus years and being able to have an ongoing long-term relationship. Well, that ties into something that you guys haven't really announced yet, but there's some behind the scenes stuff that you guys are doing 
to work with these presenters uh, even after the show that I think is going to create a ton of opportunity. And there's going to be a lot of news coming out about that soon as well. Is that anything you're ready to talk about We're yet? We're not ready yet. Stay okay. tuned. Outstanding. All yeah. right. You guys are just going to have to stick around and, and wait to see what that is. But there's some really exciting things in the works. Um, so let's talk about where people can find the show. So the show is going to stream on Bargain House Network, which can be found on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. It'll be showing somewhere in the first part of October. Awesome. So if you guys want to check that out uh, on all those networks, it's easy to find on most, most devices, phones, tablets, TVs, oh, whatever. And the website. But also the website, yes. There we go. Forgot about that one. <laughs> so, so fundingfaceoff.com is the website and there's going to be a ton of information on there. Also, you guys can sign up to get news about the show, new episodes, exciting things like what Lori was hinting at that's coming that hasn't yet been announced, um, as well as some other cool things. And there's probably going to be a bunch of resources there for investors. Resources, um, opportunities to participate with us. If you want to invest in the deals with us, there'll be ways that you can invest in the deals with us. If you have deals, come join us, present. It's not, um, it's going to be life changing. It's not anything I less agree. than life changing. Awesome. All right. So you guys check that out. Um, and I also encourage you guys to find Lori on social media and follow her and check out her content. Thank you.